The original version of Astyanax came out for the Nintendo Entertainment System after rocking the arcades. Several years later, I picked up this RetroBits Generation console. I'm going to give it a try. Let's see how it plays now. So this is the world of Astyanax. In this game you play Astyanax, a warrior so strong that the head of his axe is larger than half of his arm. There are many resources that make him even stronger. Some items will increase his power, others will upgrade your weapon or increase its speed, and then there are red and blue potions you can collect to increase your life. All of these power-ups encourage you to focus on close-range combat, with a surprising amount of platforming, offense, and defense. At the end of every level, as a boss, significantly larger and more grotesque than you are. You could try to look for sweet spots or hiding places to protect you from these boss fights, or you could recklessly aim for the head, like I'm doing here, but at some point you're going to run low on life, and fortunately, there's a backup plan. Simply press up and A on the RetroBit Generations controller to unleash a powerful magic spell. You'll use up all of your remaining magic, but that refills at the end of every stage. So the storyline's a bit campy, and the platforming can get repetitive, but the music is good, the graphics are excellent for its time, and the challenge, oh jeez, this one is a bit of a wondrous one. A Steinex for RetroBit Generations gets a 6 out of 10 in my scale. I enjoyed playing this platformer, and I hope you do too, the next time you play the RetroBit Generations.